Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to retouch skin in video inside of Adobe Premiere. So this process is not too hard to do inside of Adobe Photoshop. So if you have an image removing blemishes, pimples, taking out wrinkles, those are really easy to do inside of Photoshop. But to do that for video, the process gets a lot more complicated. But I have a process that I've used for many years, I believe for the last seven or eight years, and it's a plugin for Adobe Premiere that makes it super easy. In order to do it manually, it takes a lot more in Premiere, requiring some blending between layers, using some blur filters, and I never really got a good result. In the last decade or so, I've tried many different tools, many manual options using After Effects, using Premiere, but the best filter I ever found was a filter called Beauty Box. I'm gonna apply it right now to my skin. As you could see, it really softens the skin and is very subtle. You could also get that to be not subtle if you wanted to really push that up and then get a lot more unnatural. But the subtle presets on the filter work really well. I wanna show you how to get the preset, how to bring it into Adobe Premiere, and then how to basically customize it for your video. Okay, first things first, click the link in the description to come to this page. And this is where we're gonna install and download Beauty Box here. And there's an option to try it. The problem is it's gonna come with a watermark. So if you do try it and you like it, you do actually have to buy it. So I'm gonna click buy here and it's gonna take me to the buy page and Beauty Box is what I'm looking for. It's on 4.0. I used to have 3.0, so the previous versions to get an upgrade is a lot cheaper here, so I didn't have to pay the full price. So it is a basically a lifetime investment that you could just pay the upgrade fee for. And I'm gonna choose one. Make sure you choose the platform where you want this. So I want this in After Effects or Premiere. In this case, Premiere, it comes with both. And I want it for a Mac, you could also have it for Window. And then go ahead and add it to cart. And once you do buy it, it's gonna basically send you an email. Let me show you the email right now. That comes with this text file in the email. So it's gonna give you the download instructions from where you would get this project file from. And then you do have to type in your license number here to activate it, but it does tell you the installation process. So in the case of a Mac, it gave me a DMG file. This is the DMG file. I'm gonna go ahead and double click it. And then you go ahead and install it give your destination and installation. I've already installed it. It's already inside of my Premiere, so I'm not gonna go through this process, but there shouldn't be any problems there. The cool thing is it also comes with this PDF manual, and that was one of the links that it gave you, and it showed you exactly how to use it. So for example, the filter is broken up just like this for some of the advanced options. Now, don't worry about this because I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna jump into Premiere here. Now, inside of Premiere, this is just the intro video I just shot. I just brought it in while I record this section to show you how to do this. I wanna apply the skin softener right here, the beauty box. So right here on my Premiere, I'm on just default editing mode. Again, make sure your workspace looks like mine so you can follow along. Go to the effects tab here and it's called Beauty Box. So I'm gonna search for Beauty Box and it should have a folder like this. Make sure you do restart your Premiere if this does not appear at first. And all you have to do is go ahead and drag and drop this or double click it to put it on your video clip. Right here, this is the Beauty Box filter. If I take it off, you could see the subtle difference right here taking place. Look under my eyes here and look at the difference that it has by the default setting. Let me actually go ahead and zoom in so you could see a little bit better here. So if I turn it off and on, it's very subtle, but it really nicely softens the skin here. Now, if you wanted to do a lot more, right here, these are the settings that I'm gonna go over. I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on all these different settings. The PDF I showed you actually explains all these, but smoothing amounts is very important here. So it's set to 30 from the default. I usually just use the default settings out of the box. Well, let's say I went all the way to 80. This is the setting at 80. So if I turn it on and off, you could see it's even taking out some of these highlights here. It's a big, big difference, but at the same time, it's not very noticeable. So what if I went to 300, for example, and it may take a little bit depending on your speed. I actually have a 64 gig RAM computer here. So it's going relatively fast. Looks like 200 is the max, but you could see a big difference right here in skin. So off, on, 
Now, skin detail smoothing, let's bring that all the way up to 100. I just want to show you just how high this could go. Look at that. Again, a big difference. Now you could really see it if you turn it on and off. Let's look at contrast enhance. Let's take that to 100. And it's really smoothing out the contrast here between the different parts of the skin. So you could see those big changes. Let me go ahead and delete this. And I want to reapply it one more time. And I want to show you one option that you should get started with right away. Down here, there's an option that says analyze frame. So it actually is doing that, but you could force it to analyze the frame to get better results. And as you could see, it immediately softened the skin a lot more than the default setting had. So if I turn it on and off, you could see the difference there. What that does basically, it takes the dark colors and using a picker, it picks on the dark colors and the light colors and then it chooses. So it's choosing the lights and the dark parts of my skin tone to create this effect here. So as you could see, a big difference by doing that. And that's what Analyze Frame does. It basically types in all these different settings for you without you actually picking anything. And now if I take the smoothing amount to 100, it's going to be a huge difference right here, especially in the forehead. You see the wrinkles are all gone. Let me take this to 100. And look at that. Now that's starting to look a lot more unnatural. And this is probably not where we want to be with this filter. But I think you get the idea of the power of this beauty box filter right out of the box. Then press analyze frame. Then change these three different settings for as high as you want to go, depending on your taste and on your subject. And a couple other things worth looking at. Preserve small details. This is at 75%. So you could go ahead and reduce this if you like. And shine removal is one of my favorite options. That actually re removes shine, which is kind of a big deal. If you take this to 75, I, there wasn't a, a whole lot of shine here. But that does also create a lot of unnatural look from the video if you go too high with this. So I try to keep this kind of low on the 20% side, depending on how much shine I have on the subject. But again, if you don't have makeup on set, this shine option is a important feature inside this filter. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I know the plugin does cost a little bit of money, but I think is well worth the investment. If you don't have makeup on set, for example, which would cost you a few hundred dollars every time you have a shoot, this filter for a couple hundred bucks could last you a very long time. And in my opinion, it's one of the best plugin you could buy for the money. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post easy to follow filmmaking videos just like this one multiple times a week, covering things like how to make money as a filmmaker, a lot of gear. I have a lot of gear that I do reviews on and show you how to set them up as well as things in post-production. I hope to see you next time on the next video. Take care.